Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and we're talking about iOS 18.5. Now 18.5 after going through four beta stages and of course the RC version should be released today to the public and it has a few new features and changes. Even though it doesn't look like a big update, it still has about 20 new features and changes that are actually really good and most of them very important. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at these changes and I will show you guys the top 10 features for iOS users on iOS 18.5. Now, first of all, we have a new pride wallpaper. So when you go to add one of your wallpapers to the lock screen, you will see this new wallpaper. Now it looks simple. You tap on it. It doesn't have any other versions, which you can actually customize here. But once you add it to your device, it will actually change every time you unlock your device. So it's actually pretty cool. You tap the add button, set this as a pair, and you will see how it looks now and it will look different when you go to the home screen, when you get out of the lock screen again, it will look different. And you can see right here, if you have a device with an always on display, it actually looks awesome. You can see this view here. How cool does that look? And it of course changes once you wake up your device and every time it goes to basically the always on display mode, it will change. So it's actually pretty awesome. I really love how it looks right here. It's a really cool wallpaper. Next will be a new section for Apple care and warranty, basically an updated section. When you go to your settings, head on to the general settings. And when you go to Apple care and warranty, this is what you will see right here at the top. We have like a new banner right there. And then when you go to one of your devices, you will see here a new look. So you will have way more information up here. You will have a link where you can go ahead and learn about your benefits, but you will also have a section here for the Apple support app. If you have it installed, you can go ahead and just open it from there or install it on your device if you don't have it already. Now, one thing I really like about iOS 18.5 is that Apple has brought back the back tab banner. So if you just back tap on your iPhone, it will show you the banner right here at the top. Let me just try this. So if I go ahead and back tap, you can see once it takes a screenshot, I have it set to take a screenshot. It will show the banner at the top, letting me know that this has been activated. Now, why I really love this feature and why I think it's important is because a lot of times you might have set something, especially with the double tap on the back, it will happen by accident a lot of times. So let's say you have set it to take a screenshot, just like I have it right here. If you just accidentally drop your phone somewhere or just back tap on it accidentally, and it takes a screenshot, you probably won't know what happened there. You don't know that it just basically did the back tap by accident. But now you will have that banner showing you right there what actually happened. Another really cool thing is that that will be actually an option. So when you go to your settings, you will be able to go to the accessibility settings and go to touch, scroll all the way down here to the back tab section, and there you will have it show banner, you can now have it enabled or disabled. Now this will be enabled by default. If you don't want to have it, if you think it's annoying or something like that, you can just go ahead and just disable it. Another change here on the mail app. Finally, this change has come right here into the mail app where you can show or hide the contacts photos. Now, this is actually not a new feature. You would be able to do this even with iOS 18.4, but you had to go through the settings app and you will have to go to your settings, go to apps, go to mail, and then find the section where you can actually enable or disable the contacts photos. Now you will be able to actually just do it directly from here. And one great thing that Apple has done with iOS 18.5 is that they have enabled satellite calling for the iPhone 13 models. Now those are great devices, one of the most popular iPhones recently, and a lot of users actually use those devices. Finally, if of course it's supported on your carrier, you will be able to actually have satellite calling once you have updated your iPhone 13, 13 Pro or the 13 Pro Max to the new iOS 18.5. Now with iOS 18.5, Apple has made some really important changes to screen time as well. One of them will be for parents. So if you're a parent and you use your device to monitor your kid's device, you will now be notified once 
one of the devices has actually used the screen time passcode. So you know, with the passcode set, you can actually just like bypass things with screen time. But once that passcode is used on a device that you actually manage, you will get a notification. Also, if you use your device to manage other devices, it will be much, much easier for you to manage the time right here. The screen time management section will be at the bottom right here. Once you go to screen time, you will see a new section right here where you will have everything you need in one place and much, much easier for you to have access to all your management of the screen time. And another one for screen time, head on to your settings, go to notifications, go to screen time right here. And now you will be able to customize the notifications for screen time. You will have this section right here. You will have the weekly report and other options based on what you're using on screen time. If you're managing other devices and things like that, you will be able to customize your notifications right here and choose which notifications you want to actually receive from screen time. And for Apple TV, Apple has added a cool new feature to the iPhone and Apple TV as well. When you purchase something through Apple TV, now you will be able to use your iPhone to authenticate and that's really amazing. It will save you so much work. It makes it much, much easier for you, of course, to use your iPhone to authenticate whenever you're purchasing something. It's a great new feature that you will be able to use once you have updated your iPhone to the new iOS 18.5. So these are some of the best new features, actually, in my opinion, the top 10 features coming to your iPhone with the new iOS 18.5. Now, this software update is not out yet as of this moment of the releasing of this video. It should be out in a couple of hours. I expect it to happen today. It might even happen tomorrow. But taking a look back at the history and how Apple does things and how they release updates, I would actually expect this update to come out today. That will be May the 12th at around 10 a.m. Pacific time. As usual, that's the time when Apple releases new updates. So expect to just get this this software update on your device today so that is it for this video guys these are 10 of the most useful features in my opinion when it comes to the new ios 18.5 even though it has more features but we're going to talk about all those in another video that i will do very very soon but again even though it seems like a really small update it's actually really good but now all the focus of course is shifted to do towards ios 19 and all the cool new features and changes or will be with that update even though we still have another update for ios 18 coming really soon ios 18.6 is currently on the testing stages and it should be released on its first beta actually very very soon might be released even this week or the beginning of the next week so let's wait and see what apple will do with that but it should be a similar update to ios 18.5 so that's basically it hope you guys enjoyed the video smash that like button if you did and of course subscribe for more ios 18.5 videos and i'll see you on the next one